Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play with Asperwitch. Uh, this is the first episode in a new short series about the newly released uh, DLC Respublica. Uh, I've gone ahead and started a game as the Hansa and uh, we'll take a look at the new features and events for the Merchant Republics and uh, perhaps when we're done with that we'll take a look at the uh, new uh, mechanics and events of the Dutch Republic and start a new game as uh, the Netherlands. Uh, but for now let's focus on the Merchant Republic. Uh, I guess the the biggest new change is the factions in uh, the Merchant Republics. We have three, fr three factions uh, that we can uh, uh, gain influence with. Uh, it's the Aristocrats, they are representing the patrician families uh, and the politicians. Uh, they, their main concern is ensuring that the Republic is victorious in war and achieves, achieves the glory that they view as their own. Uh, so they are the warring faction. We have the traders. Uh, I guess that speaks for itself. They represent the merchants and ship captains. Uh, they, their main concern is uh, the control of uh, maritime trade routes. And we have the guilds. Uh, this is representing the artisans and master craftsmen in our cities. Uh, they, their main concern is the economic well-being of the cities. So I guess this is the trade, uh, the, the production and the economic uh, guild. So they, uh, one of them will be in power, I guess. Uh, can see, I guess this is a percentage, right? 40 plus 30, 70 plus uh, 30, that's 100%. Uh, so I'm guessing uh, that's uh, what it is. Now, uh, as you can see, the aristocrats are the leading faction at the moment, uh, giving us uh, uh, less trade power abroad and uh, uh, but increased morale of armies and uh, cheaper maintenance. Uh, so that's good for fighting wars, I guess, but not as good uh, for uh, foreign trade routes. Uh, also, this uh, for these 40 influence give us uh, an additional 0 0.01 army tradition. I don't know if this is a ticking score that increases uh, as long as they're in power. I'm not sure. We'll have to see about that. Uh, the traders, uh, had they been in power, would give us uh, global trade power and uh, uh, cheaper uh, naval maintenance in exchange for all, uh, lesser tax. Uh, and also uh, 0.01 navy tradition. And we have the guilds. Uh, had they been in power uh, there would be cheaper buildings by 10%. Uh, we would produce 0.1 extra goods per uh, per province, and we would uh, lose 10% of our manpower. And also, we would gain nothing, I guess. Uh, that is perhaps because of uh, being below 30%. Then I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, but for now, we are getting army tradition and. Uh, Navy tradition. Now I guess I can use um, military power to boost the influence of the aristocrats by 10, uh, diplo power to increase the influence of the traders and yeah, admin power to get influence with the guilds. Uh, we'll get back to that soon I think before, uh, when we've uh, decided what to do and we'll see what we can uh, uh, what will shoes uh, now? I will be wanting, I guess, to to expand because one of the new features is uh, that you can build a trade node in. I think each uh, one per um, trade node that you have a province in, you can build some uh, yeah, a trade post, not a trade node. Uh, you can build a trade post. So I am thinking I should expand into East Frisia. Uh, 
well, that might not actually be a good idea, seeing, seeing as Antwerpen is, a, is an end node. So maybe I should get Hanover, Brunswick, or Osnabrück. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see if we can't fabricate a claim on Hanover. Uh, go to war with Brunswick. They have no allies. Uh, so let's uh, fabricate a claim and. Um, Try to... What can we do? We could... We could be sneaky now and try to... We could ally them to get one of their... Uh, or one of their diplomatic relations so they don't get as, uh, as many allies. However, we are already at uh, 5 out of 4 and losing, we are losing one uh, uh, diplomatic power every month because of it, so that might not be uh, worthwhile. Uh, they are rivaled with Munster, Bremen and Magdeburg. I think we are allied with Bremen, right? Allied with the Hansa and uh, Magdeburg as well, if I'm not mistaken. Allied with the Hansa. So we are allied with uh, two of their rivals, so perhaps we should try to ally Monster as well. Uh, let's offer them an alliance and uh, see if we can't uh, get rid of some other allies, like uh, Oldenburg would be nice. Uh, Magdeburg was uh, there, so that's good. Uh, Lüneburg. That's good as well. Bremen. Where is it? There. And uh, Riga. Now Riga is far away, right? Uh, Riga is up here somewhere. Let's uh, let's dissolve that alliance as soon as we get our diplomat back there. Uh, there we go. Uh, well, no more alliance with them. Thank you. Uh, did someone? Did it say someone broke their alliance with us? Huh, wait. Uh, there's a log. Well, I guess it was us breaking the alliance then. Well, I could check. <laughs> Still have five out of four, so yeah, should be. Should be. Um, that's how it's supposed to be. Uh, we have uh, got to pick a mission, improve relation with Oldenburg. I guess we could... Um, uh, one of the changes is that uh, in the patch uh, is that uh, republics can uh, uh, offer vassalization now as well. So you don't, uh, you don't need a royal marriage anymore. So that, that is... Uh, might be a good idea to improve the relations with Oldenburg, our tiny ally, and we might be able to actually vassalize them. So let's uh, let's improve that relation. Uh, there we go, and let's pick a few rivals. Now we are going to pick Brunswick, of course, since we'll take uh, their territory. Uh, we should pick. Uh, we should pick Saxe Lauenburg, but we can't. So we'll have to pick. Uh, guess we'll pick Mecklenburg. Uh, what trade now is that? Uh, uh, well, we're gonna have to take that territory anyway to get some more trade power. Uh, so Mecklenburg, and we should pick. We should pick Denmark and uh, just to embargo them, and they're probably going to to rival us as well. They usually do uh, as soon as they get Holstein. So let's uh, let's rival them, and uh, we should pick up a few advisors. We have uh, spare cash. Uh, oh, and also this is uh, this is a part of the uh, DLC the national focus. We should set that as well. Uh, you, basically you increase one of these uh, 
uh, powers by three uh, and decrease the other two by one. Uh, right? Or is it? Inc no, it's increased by two. So it's uh, it's uh, the same net amount, uh, but uh, you can redistribute. Redistribute. God damn it! Redistribute. Uh, so perhaps we should. Now I think it can it can be changed every changed every twenty five years I think, uh, so um, it doesn't say in the tooltip. Uh, I probably should add, add that. Uh, let's pick these first. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, revolt risk is good. Uh, spy offense will increase our or rather decrease our chance of being uh, discovered. Uh, fabricating the flame on Hanover, and let's get extra morale. That's great. Uh, now, about that focus. Our uh, early goal is uh, getting admin tech to get a national idea, and uh, yeah, the thing with admin tech is, or admin power is that it's always useful. You are almost never out of uh, admin power. Or rather, you're always out of it. You're never at the cap. Uh, on the other hand, I find myself, at least me, I find myself uh, occasionally being capped on the diplo and military power. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and set uh, admin power as our national focus, even though it will decrease our uh, military power to four. Uh, I think it'll be worth it. We'll get our uh, first ID group very quickly, hopefully. Um, well, we don't have any... We are at 100% religious unity. Uh, so let's, uh, let's unpause this again. Uh, let the time pass and we'll see. Well, let's see uh, about this. We are currently planning to go to war with uh, Brunswick, so I'm thinking leaving the aristocrats in power is a good idea. Uh, we'll get another 10% morale and cheaper troops, uh, which we will need. Uh, yeah, and we should probably get these uh, trade ships working. Let's just... Uh, Let's just uh, increase our trade power in Lubeck. These 11 is, yeah, 6 galleys and 5 transports. Well, maybe I could build a few more barks. Uh, doesn't hurt to have a, a trade power. They're an uh, allied with Anhalt and Brandenburg. Brandenburg is uh, kind of big. Uh, Anhalt is a one province minor, so that shouldn't be a problem. No. The glory of our capital has long been neglected. We now have an opportunity to improve the city and make it a beacon of cultural pride. This may prove costly, but there is an alternative solution. We could lose manpower, or we could lose money to gain five prestige. Uh, well, we are going to be swimming in money eventually, uh, and you are never swimming in manpower, so let's go ahead and spend those 10 ducats. Uh, we'll have to take a loan, but yeah, that's no problem. There we go. We'll have it uh, paid back uh, really quickly. So, yeah. Yeah, that's with the our uh, uh, spy spy guy, spy master, uh, decreases our ch uh, risk of discovery to 0.19%. Uh, I don't know what it was before, but it was definitely... definitely higher. Probably something like 1.5% or something. Spies are good in that way. Mm, well, we're, we can't really do anything uh, for now, except wait for uh, the the claim, and uh, after that we'll uh, expand and see if we can't make a trade post. 
I'm not sure if you can if you can make them on a on an inland trade node, but we'll have to see. Uh, let's get that guy. Sorry. Have some coffee. Well, I'm just gonna remove that one so I don't check it every ten seconds. Uh, yeah, that's our relations. No big deal. Could hire. Let's check our. Uh, oh, that's nice. Nice. Three shock leader. Uh, that's gonna come in handy. Uh, so, that's a problem. Uh, can we get. We could get access. Uh, great, because uh, this guy is uh, in our way. Terribly annoying. There we go. We have the CB now. Now let's uh, get access and get our troops there first. And um, yeah, then let's uh, cancel it so we don't lose any more diplo power than necessary. There we go. And uh, yeah, let's see. They've allied with Cologne as well. Uh, well, they have uh, three plus uh, Brandenburg. What's Brandenburg's army like? Uh, yeah, 6,000 troops. So, six, seven, eight, nine thousand troops. Uh, that's uh, my army of eight plus all my allies, hopefully. So, I don't think this will be a problem. Well, I won't get Lunaberg, but um, yeah. So actually, where's Lunaberg? There we are. Let's. Um, if you ain't gonna join me, then I'll dissolve this alliance. Uh, and uh, go with the ones that will help me uh, to conserve my military power, being a 5 out of 4. It's kind of wasteful if they are no immediate use to me. Uh, there we go, we've improved our relations with Oldenburg. Uh, how much more can we get? We can get 54 more. And uh, yeah, would you look at that? Uh, they would likely accept an, accept vassalization. But we need to have uh, at least 190 opinion. So let's keep uh, improving that relation, see if we can't uh, vassalize them would be nice new test of the, the feature. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, siege these two provinces uh, because too often I've lost uh, because of um, my allies getting the siege and then uh, piecing out earlier. Well, not lost the war, but lost the war goal. Uh, say that a uh, monster could siege um, Hanover and then peace out, take it, then I'm fighting for nothing. Uh, well, nothing that I want at least. So, this is probably a good idea. Okay, so they are trying to get there. Let's see if we can't. Oh, Cologne. Won't have any of that now, will we? So they're going to Osnabrück. Well, this won't be a problem. Uh, take Hanover. Yeah, that's a very good idea. I, I believe I will. I believe I will do the, just that. See if we can't help that guy before he dies. No, probably not, but uh, we're going to Westfalen. I'm probably better off uh, keeping my guys close. I don't know. Well, 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 no. Should have kept going probably, but um, yeah. I think we'll manage the uh, those troops. See? Can easily fool the AI. 
to not attack you. As long as you have a, a rough, a roughly the same amount of troops. So... Whoa... East Frisia entered a military alliance with our enemy Lüneburg. Well, good for you. Uh, Saxe Lauenburg entered a military alliance with our enemy Brandenburg. Now that's not good, uh, because I'm going to kill Saxe Lauenburg soon. Well, looks like I need to get uh, my men together there. Uh, thank you, allies. Couldn't have done it without you. Well, let's um, cleave, says Allied Brunswick. Getting a lot of allies. Let's see. Brandenburg cleaves Cologne and Lunenburg, so they probably dropped some of their allies, like Anhalt. Well, that's uh, his decision. What are my troops? They're going to Brunswick. Is this enough to to keep the siege going? We should probably probably I don't know. This is uh, this is kind of tense. <laughs> Feels kind of tense at least. Well, I could uh, I could actually get some mercenaries to reinforce this situation. And I should probably repay that loan as well. Raise our war taxes. Uh, there we go. Now they have 14, 15 troops here, so that's kind of uh, alarming. How's our... Uh... Huh, what a, what a strange bug. If you have the, uh, the log open, you can't press the, the war, war screen. That's silly. Uh, well, they have 15.5, we've got 19,000 troops, but where are our troops? We've got, so we've got some troops there. Well, maybe I should be attack, oh, they vassalized Anhalt, I think. Uh, a vassal, or a lesser partner. partner. So that's why they're no longer an ally. Uh, Brandenburg, Cologne, Lüneburg. Uh, Cologne. We could try to... Before ending this war, we could try to vassalize Cologne as well. Uh, shouldn't be a problem, right? We'll get some, uh, some aggressive expansion, but uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Vassalizing people left and right. Huh. Feels like my... Uh, my uh, income didn't change from recruiting those uh, mercenaries. Kind of strange. Well, they're standing still in uh, Lüneburg. Whatever floats their boat. We're winning our sieges here. And... Uh, Hopefully we'll be able to uh, get Cologne out of the war as soon as uh, Münster wins this siege. Now, trade crisis. So we are looking at a minor trade crisis or a severe trade crisis. Uh, we'll gladly pay the diplo power, I think. Our trade income is 6.37, so 15% would be what? Uh, yeah, one sixth. So a ducat. Uh, probably. Uh, should probably be about a ducat difference between these two. For how many years? 14, 47, or, well, 12 ducats. Well, let's, uh, let's just... Uh, well, let's just accept that, actually. Uh, yeah, one and a half ducats. So that's uh, that's 18 ducats instead of 25 diplo power. I usually pick the one uh, costing diplo power, but now that I think of it, uh, think about it, it's uh, rarely worth it. 
Let's see. If I leave this, they'll probably try to... Oh, they're going to Brunswick. They are going. Uh, now, I could use your help, monster. Could really use your help. Oh, there we go. And they have a crossing penalty as well. Uh, so we won, and now we can try to... Let's try to siege Westfalen as well. And... Um, yeah, uh, Lüneburg. Try to get as many sieges as possible here. Uh, we are the siege leader, that's great. Now this will uh, allow us to hopefully get Hanover, vassalize Cologne, and uh, perhaps Lüneburg if we separate these, these two. We'll get a bunch of aggressive expansion, but uh, we'll be done expanding after that for a while, I think, so it doesn't really matter. And uh, yeah, well, let's see. Let's uh, let's sue these guys and see what they want. 45% uh, war score, so it's uh, obviously we need to siege their provinces, and that's their, their only province, so we'll be at 100% war score. Uh, what could we get now, just uh, with this piece? We could uh, actually get a full annexation, but that's uh, that's no good, uh, not a good idea because uh, the emperor will be very upset with us for removing a prince. Uh, if you take the last uh, last uh, province from a country, they'll demand unlawful territory from you. I think that's what it is. Or they'll probably at least get a CB to get that prince back on the map. Uh, yeah, we could make them our vassal if we want to. Uh, well, let's uh, let's just wait and see what we can get with uh, the rest of them. Help that guy out. It, it's at uh, well, no, that one is lower, so. Uh, I'm not sure what uh, uh, what gives with these uh, chances because sometimes it feels like when you add uh, troops to the siege, it actually jumps uh, the chances. But I I don't really get how that would be since it's a die roll with the modifiers and there's no modifier for number of troops. I guess it could be uh, that you have a have a leader with a siege. Uh, no, where is it? There, leader siege ability. I don't know. I'm no expert. What I have realized uh, is uh, something about these, uh, this uh, crossing penalty. Now in CK2 uh, there is uh, crossings between provinces and there's an indicator saying uh, here's a crossing between these two provinces and you cross this major river or whatever. Uh, in EU4 there is no such thing and I've uh, heard uh, people like Arumba complain about it and I have uh, complained about it as well, uh, until I realized that uh, as long as there is a river in the province, ti how tiny it might even be like this, or this tiny one, if there is a river in the province, it will be a crossing. Even though you uh, say you enter Brunswick from Le Le Leipzig, there's no crossing going from here to here, but uh, as long as... Uh, uh, well, since uh, Brunswick has a river, it will be a crossing penalty fighting in Brunswick. Uh, that's uh, that, that's what I think, at least. Seems to be consistent so far. My testing. So, yeah. Hint of the day. Uh, we should probably 
switch our merchant, by, but I'll wait with that. And uh, we should probably take care of that guy before he gets hung over back. Well, well, there we go. Brunswick has uh, pieced out with Bremen, so Bremen left our uh, our war. Well, that's no big deal. Now we can uh, sue Cologne. We should probably. Oh yeah, they have two provinces: Cologne and uh, Westphalen. Should we vassalize them? 45%? Uh, oh yeah, of course we don't have 45%. We need to siege Cologne for that. Uh, and we can't get there, so... Shoot. What should we do? What? How much do we need? We're at minus 53. Because of uh, lots of reasons. Uh, well... You know what, uh, let's uh, wrap up this war in the next episode, and for now we'll call this, uh, call this uh, quits. <laughs> let's end this episode, and I'll say thank you for watching, I hope to see you in the next episode. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you would like to, and yeah, thank you for watching, so long.